Hola amigos and welcome to Colombia. Yo me amo tortilla. Y yo me amo nacho. Today we're going to make it some chile ribs. Here are the ingredients that you will need. For this recipe, you'll need some poblano peppers, cheese, salsa, rice, chicken broth, onions, some spices, four eggs, and a good attitude. First things first, you gotta roast the pepper to take the skin off. It smells delicious. You wanna make sure the pepper is evenly browned on all sides. Once our pepper is cooked to perfection, you're going to want to steam it itself in the pot. This way, it'll be moisturized so we can take the skins off with ease. Well, that's steaming. We need to get to the Spanish rice. First, cut up your onion. Make sure you're wearing your protective safety goggles first. After you properly cut up your onions, you're going to want to put them in a pan. Just a little bit of oil in there. <laughs> Cook for about five minutes until the onions are tender. After about five minutes, the onions should be tender enough to pour the rice in. You want one and a half cups of brown rice. And you're going to want to keep that rice in there until it turns brown. After the rice gets a little toasted and brown, you're going to want to add two cups of chicken broth. One cup of salsa. Don't forget to put some spice in your rice. Then you're going to want to put the lid on it and let it simmer there for about 20 minutes until the liquid has absorbed completely into your rice. Once our peppers are perfectly steamed, you're going to want to move them over to a cutting board. Okay, once you've got the peppers over to the cutting board, you're all you're going to do is you're going to peel the skin off like it's taken off. Once you've taken the skin off of your pepper, you're going to want to make a T-shaped cut in the pepper. This is so you'll be able to take out the seeds and the stuff inside of it. got your peppers open, you're going to want to grab out the seeds. Now you're going to pull it out and you're going to remove all the seeds. Alright, now that we've taken the seeds out of the pepper, we're going to stuff it with cheese. Since we're only making two peppers, we're going to want to take two eggs and separate the oaks, the yolks, and the whites. So you're going to want to mix your yolks until they're light and frothy. Once you finish mixing your yolks, you want to put that to the side and move on to your egg whites. You're going to add a little bit of salt. Mix it until it is frothy. Jesus Christ. Once your egg whites are properly mixed, you're going to want to add the yolks to it and fold it so until it's just mixed. So do not let the egg whites deflate. You're going to want to heat up some oil in your frying pan until it's hot. Once you've heated up the oil, you want to add a half a cup of egg batter and put it on. Once you've let your batter cook for a little bit, you want to lay your pepper down, seam side down. Alright, now that you have your pepper on, you can add another half a cup of egg batter on the top of it. 
Once you've let it cook for a little bit, you're going to want to flip it over. Alright, this looks finished. Let's plate it. By this time, the rice should also be finished. Well, folks, now our journey has come to an end. After your meal has been completed, you may eat. Me llamo tortilla. Me llamo nacho. Adios. Oh, uh, he uses the valley. He loves it. Final thoughts?